Hello everyone, in this video we will try to add details to Sapphire, so let's start by adding a Sapphire and let's change our display to lines and I will change my type to hexahedron and I will give 18 segments and I will make it editable to which points want and I will delete these points right in the middle each time so this is what is left now i will hold alt and click symmetry do it one more time but this time i will change the mirror plane and i will add another symmetry and change the plane again Now I will add a cylinder and give it I will give it a uh, sixteen segments. But when you it's symmetry, don't forget to check on these options. Now I will select those polygons, right click and extrude inner. See which the po points mode, right click and slide. Now I will align those points by hand manually. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, let's delete these ones. Now I will make a cut, but uncheck visible only and Alt Shift. Slides, press control and add those points. And let's move them also. And I will also move that point. Okay, now let's. It's some detail here. I will let's actually we have a cylinder, let's use that. Let's put it right in the middle and decrease the radius. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six points, so let's give it a six segments. And let's rotate. I will do the same thing again. Right click, extrude inner, and slide. Let's delete here and also let's move those points, they are too close. Now I want to add 
some detail here. Let's use that cylinder again. But this time we have 10 points. So let's give it 10 segments. But also let's rotate that. Match the edges right in the middle. Okay, let's do the same thing again. Also, let's delete here. And we are good to go. Now, I will let connect object and put my symmetry in that. So, we will have a one object. And now I will let subdivision surface and put my connect here. Let's see, it is not. It's of course, so let's add shrink wrap deformer into my group subdivision group and let's add a sphere, but let's make it very high. This is gonna orbit, this is gonna or be your target. Let's name that target and height now. I will go to my shrink wrap former and put my targets in the target object. Oh, this is not enough. I want some smoothness. These polygons, polygons are not even. So I will let smoothing former after my shrink wrap but don't worry i will duplicate my shrink wrap after smoothing former so this is gonna fix the problem so let's see what smoothing does okay it looks good i will give one Subdivision to my subdivision subdivision surface. And I right click and kind of step the object. And I will hide my original one. So now I will delete have points again just like we did in the beginning and I will steal that symmetry from the original shape and delete the mesh and put the new mesh in here okay let's do some extrusion Press control and move on the z axis. 
and scale z to zero, also position to zero. Let's do the same thing here. Let's close here at this time. Go to modeling axis and offset the x and y to zero. So we can scale from the zero. And select those ones. Right click and belt. And also move x and y to zero and press F1. Let's move here. Double clicked. Extrude. But I will press shift so I can uh, rotate my extrude. Now I will switch to scale. Press Ctrl and Shift. So we have duplicated points here. Let's select them and right click that. Also, this one. Okay, now let's give some depth. So let's scale here. Select that loop. And I will scale on the Z axis. Let's do the same thing here, loop cut, selection, loop selection, and scale. But this time, I will move my x-axis to zero, oh, sorry, minus 100, because it's in the middle. Let's do something here. Right click, loop cuts. This time I will right click, select slides, and press Ctrl. Same here. Okay, looks okay. Now let's test it with subdivision surface. Everything looks okay. The only thing that I think we should do is to, is to remove those triangles. So I will select those ones, right click, and so. Let's move
okay everyone thank you for watching and see you in the next next tutorial bye